welcome to my channel. Today is day one of my Christmas Decorate With Me 2021 and I cannot wait to jump into this video. We're gonna be decorating the living room and getting started on the entire house. I'm gonna share all the decor I'm working with this year and we're also gonna kind of be cleaning up around the house. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I do all things home decorating, cooking and cleaning and I would be so honored if you would subscribe. It is totally free and it helps us stay connected especially as we decorate our houses together. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Let's get into this video. And for every single child, there's a gift on So here is everything we have that is Christmas decor. I've got trees to one side, and then I've got all of our decor to the other side. And basically, I have my decor planner here, my decorating planner. I have most of the rooms kind of sketched out for what we're gonna do. I know which trees are gonna go in which room. I wanna go through current inventory, make sure I have what I need here. And then I already have a list of things I need to pick up that I know I don't have. When I, before I even start doing anything, I like to lay everything out here. I have all my bins that have been labeled from last year facing forward, so I kind of know where things are going to go. But I also keep my planner here. Always have a pair of scissors. I always have a hot glue gun and some uh, super glue just in case, or like Gorilla Glue if anything broke while it was in storage. So I just kind of keep those around. So I think what I'm going to do this year, if you guys are okay with it, I would like to do, um, instead of decorate with me in this room, decorate with me in another room, I was thinking of doing a decorate with me day. So like this would be decorate with me day one. But for today, what I thought we would do is I always like to get the front room done first. I have these balsam hill trees up from our Lee Max village. I actually took that down because I'm probably going to move that over here, but I wanted to get the Christmas tree up first to see what it looked like. But today here is my balsam hill. This is the Silverado Slim nine foot. These, this way, remember last year it was a 10 foot tree and it like really, you actually, that you can see, it scraped the ceiling <laughs> when we put it up. So this year I switched it out for a nine foot. So it'll be a little more appropriate for the size of this room. I'm gonna remove quite a bit of stuff out of here so we have a nice canvas to work from and then we're gonna get started. My hope today is that we get the Christmas tree, this big one, built and decorated today. Um, it's Saturday, so my hope is to do that. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd love to get this entire room decorated, but we'll see kind of what we're able to do. I'm gonna put the fireplace on, turn on some Hallmark. Kitty! Rue, what are you doing? Beep, beep. Kittens love the decor. So to get started on any Christmas decor, I really like to focus on the main Christmas tree every year first. So we're going to be doing um, the main tree in the living room. The uh, kind of the theme for this room is going to be very classic traditional Christmas. And I ended up picking up the nine foot Silverado Slim from Balsam Hill. If you guys aren't familiar with Balsam Hill, I'm going to link a bunch of stuff down below for you. They have some great blogs about how to actually decorate for Christmas. and. I mean, they're kind of the authority in trees, in my opinion. Their trees are so beautiful and realistic, and I just think that they're stunning. They're almost like timeless heirlooms that you could pass down to family members, and I just think they're really beautiful. So if you are looking for a nice investment tree, one that is gonna kind of stand for at least the next 10 to 20 years, I highly recommend checking Balsam Hill out. Again, I'll link them down below if you guys are looking for that, and I think they are having a Black Friday, extended Black Friday sale, so definitely check those out because you can save quite a bit on those. I 
I'd love to know in the comments down below if you guys have downloaded my holiday planner and if you have, what theme are you doing for your main room? I am doing a different theme in every room of our house and in the living room I always do a very classic traditional Christmas in here, so like real classic Santa Claus and red and I like to use a nice plaid and I always do kind of like a red a red room in here. And um, But I'd love to know what you guys are doing and I wish I could see everything so definitely head over to my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I'll put a link here and down below. And, and please, I love when you guys share in my DMs what your trees look like and how everything's coming together. It's just so exciting. It's such a magical time of the year. But if you would also like to download that planner, I'll put it down below. It's totally free and it's just a great resource to get you organized for the holidays. I wanted to show you guys a close up of how beautiful and realistic this tree is. Isn't it stunning? So this year I'm going to be using three ribbons. I'm going to use two of these red ribbons and in between I'm going to add a pretty kind of, it's got a gold wire on it and I highly recommend if you're going to use ribbon to always use wired ribbon but it's this beautiful plaid. I think it's perfect for Christmas. It's got the brightness. It's not too dark red. Now I've seen this done many different ways. I'm going to actually be kind of streaming these around. I'm going to be doing four of them. Um, down the tree and I I don't want to waste the time gluing these I know a lot of people do but sometimes I end up using ribbons differently each year so I didn't want to uh, glue them just in case I wanted to pull them apart or I didn't like the way this turned out so what I do is actually use the my hand to measure out how big they are and then I use a little green ornament hanger and I just tuck it into the tree that way I can make it as big or small as I want and then I spread the t three different ribbons apart that way you know, I can make it look as big or small as I'd like. the first set of ribbons on I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like and then in between here I'll start at another point at the top of the tree and I will drape down the next set of ribbons and I just keep doing that until the tree is full but I think this turns out really beautiful All the ribbons are on I'm gonna start tucking in some ornaments I like to start with some larger ones and then fill in the smaller ones as needed but I like how this creates just little areas around the tree that I can start tucking in some really fun things I'm gonna be using some reindeer on this tree and some fun signs and some really beautiful kind of gold and antique ornaments as well how lucky can this And I fall into peace and silence on a very special Christmas Eve. These giant bells at Michael's I think they still have them in stock online but they're super pretty and I like how they kind of really fill in some of those larger spots to 
To add some more depth to the tree, I'm gonna be poking in some of these really pretty poinsettias. I had them on an old plant that I used on the porch that the container it was in broke. So I ended up clipping these off and I'm gonna tuck them in to the tree in a bunch of little spots. Playing on, listening to this song. So now that I have most of the ornaments on, I'm gonna start tucking in some really pretty gold picks I have and just fill in the ornaments where I need to. I have already kind of put, I would say 70% up on here. So now I'm gonna go through each of the ornaments and find the pieces that maybe if I have too many glitter ornaments, I wanna add some of these pine cones or something different. I also want to add some red in here. So I'm gonna be tucking those in just to give the tree a nice full and finished look. I love how this video shows the day pass because in the morning when we were in the kitchen it was so bright and now the sun is setting and it's starting to get dark in the house and I just I love I love this style of video so tell me in the comments down below if you guys like this too a full day um, doing different things each day around the house or if you guys want to go back to the decorate with me per room but I think this tree turned out perfect I ended up using some of those Christmas poppers in here just to make it fun for the kids when they saw it they came right in and wanted to grab all of them and pop them it was so much fun but I think this turned out super pretty and it just reminds me of like a really beautiful Christmas now I have finished the room so in the next video day two we're gonna complete this room and it reminds me of walking into like those really incredible I don't know if you've ever been to the Roosevelt in New Orleans but it reminds me of a hotel like that where just like everything is over the top and beautiful but before we finish today I also wanted to put some wreaths on the windows but tell me in the comments down below what you guys think of this tree As I'm looking at this tree, I realized I completely forgot my tree skirt and I picked this one up at Balsam Hill as well. This is the most beautiful tree skirt I have ever, the detail of this tree skirt is over the top. I absolutely love it. I've always looked for a really nice one. This reminds me of Santa Claus's coat. It's just, it's so magical and beautiful. I will definitely link this down below because I highly recommend it. But I think this really just adds a nice finishing touch and it's so beautiful. Before we end today's video, I wanted to add two of these beautiful poinsettia wreaths in the corners. Um, I absolutely cannot wait to share tomorrow's video with you, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and definitely turn the notifications on so you guys can see the way this whole room turns out tomorrow. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Snow is falling down I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around 
Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of my Christmas Decorate With Me for 2021 and we are in the entryway today, you guys. We're putting up, I think, eight trees today. We're gonna be doing the staircase. I'm also gonna be snacking on some healthy Thrive Market today, which I'll share with you in a little bit. But first, I wanna say thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video and all of my snacky needs while I decorate the house this year. And at the end, we will be sharing some of the things we have coming up. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I do all things home decorating, cooking, and cleaning. And I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. It is totally free and it helps us stay connected while we decorate for the holiday season. And if you're returning, it is so good to see you. All right, let's get into this video. So here we are, next day, ready to go. So I've got our flock tree up. We're gonna get this decorated today. I also have these over here. I kind of want to just keep this all bare, but I've got my planner here. I kind of want to keep this all bare, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking I want to decorate it. So I'm gonna add two more trees here just to give it that really beautiful winter wonderland look. And then we're gonna start doing the garland. Now I wanted to do real garland up the stairs this year, but our Enzo, 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 this cat, I swear, she loves the trees. Okay, hi names. What are you doing? She usually, say hello. Bless you, Jack. Okay, oh, you look like a little snow kid. Yes, you do, you're so cute. Alrighty, so back to what I was saying. We're gonna add two trees here, and I think I'm gonna decorate all of them. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna get these trees. Are these not the cutest? This little trio. Amazing. I'm gonna give that a little decoration, some snow at the bottom, and then, bless you, I've got one more tree going here, but it arrives today. So hopefully, when that gets here, we can finish the entryway. Okay guys, let's get decorating. So to get started on these trees, I kind of want to get everything lined up just to make sure I've got enough room to kind of put them all in here before I get to decorating. But then I'm going to pull these two balsam hill ones out. These balsam hill ones I'll link down below. They're absolutely stunning. And again, the quality is unmatched on balsam hill trees. If you are looking for kind of an heirloom Christmas tree that you can keep for generations, I highly recommend these. But I have to change my outfit like six times in this video because the one in the middle has so much of that flocking stuff falling off that it was attaching itself to every sweater I wore this particular day. So, highly recommend using gloves as well when you're flocking these. I didn't video all that just because it's super boring to watch someone flock a Christmas tree. Excuse me, fluff. I meant fluff. <laughs> I got flock on the mind. Okay. But as we get into this uh, Christmas tree, I wanna be using some kind of fun mesh. I'm gonna use lots of gold. I want this to be kind of a Great Gatsby ethereal tree. I also always like the entryway to kind of remain a little lighter in color because the front room is so dark with all the red. So I'm just gonna tuck in some pretty gold, some glitter, and then we're gonna break out these amazing, beautiful new ornaments I picked up from Balsam Hill as well. I love how simple and elegant these uh, little ribbons are. I will try to link them down below. I got them at Michael's uh, two or three years ago. I use the same ones almost every year, but I just love the way they turn out. And for now, I'm just gonna keep using them. But the one thing I did pick up this year, in addition to the three Balsam Hill trees, are these Roaring Twenties ornaments. I have been looking for something like this, and dare I say, even tried to DIY these last year. It was a big nope. 
So uh, yeah, I didn't share that with you guys on my channel, but um, I found these this year and they are so beautiful. I cannot wait to see how these look on the Christmas tree, but I'll definitely link them down below for you guys. If you are looking to do like a great Gatsby tree with like lots of feathers and gold and beautiful, I would definitely grab these. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me I just think these ornaments are the perfect touch for this Christmas tree, but I do want to add a couple picks in here. I have some picks from last year that I'm just going to tuck in here. Some kind of, I, it's like a little eucalyptus that's been sprayed gold with some glitter on it. And then I'm going to tuck in some really pretty large leaves in here as well as some flowers. These are like kind of gold poinsettias that I found. I only found a couple of them. I found them at Michael's. I will again link what I can down below, but otherwise just check out their website because there's all kinds of great stuff on there. Even if you're not able to find it in the stores, you'll probably be able to find it online. Okay, so we have the first tree decorated. This turned out so beautiful. I always think I'm not gonna like this. And then when I finish it and it comes out, it just turns out so beautiful. These uh, Great Gatsby ornaments are all the things. These are, this is like everything I've been looking for for the last couple years. And so to find them has been awesome. They're so perfect for my Great Gatsby vibe. I got have some leaves on here and I stuffed some picks in here. These turned out really pretty. And I've tucked in some more ornaments throughout. So we've got a bunch of green and silver and gold on this tree. So now we're gonna start with these little ones. I'm gonna be using some smaller little ornaments, much like these. For this tree, just I don't want to go too crazy that way. This tree is the focal point, and then these are just kind of on the side. But I think this turned out beautiful. Then I'm gonna get my vacuum out and we'll put the snow down below. So for these little trees, again, I just want to go very light on them. I don't want to put a ton of ornaments. I still want the focal point to be the main tree. So I just tucked a couple little ones in there. And then I want to get started on the garland. I absolutely love hanging garland on the staircase. This year, I actually finished this and I might go back later in another decorate with me and change this, but I really love this garland. I picked it up a couple years ago from Michaels. I didn't see hardly any garland this year, which is a real stinker, but um, I'm just gonna kind of swag this up the staircase. Our Christmas tree lot, while I'm doing the voiceover, has officially opened today. So I might go and actually get some real garland and I can share that in a later video. We'll see what I can find. But for now, I'm just gonna tie these up and then I'm gonna add a little flocking to them as well. So nothing too over the top, but just to kind of create that pretty Christmas vibe up the staircase.
that I have the garland all hung, I'm going to go and do a quick little vacuum and I'm going to add the snow down underneath the Christmas tree. I always love adding this little blanket of snow. I just think it gives the tree a real authentic kind of winter wonderland touch and it's just super cozy. I always find my cat sleeping down here. They absolutely love it just as much as I do. Same style. So here we are, this entryway is completely done and it feels so magical in here. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just open the door and invite you all. <gasps> UPS is back. Okay, because he just dropped off a tree, two trees. Oh, he's not gonna like me. He probably thinks I'm crazy. There he is, he thinks I'm crazy. Okay, so here are the trees that we have over here. I just ordered a little bit more snow. If you guys noticed, I like to do the snow blanket and then add this stuff on top. This makes it look really good, like good snow. But um, the blanket underneath just always has kind of like a rough edge to it. So I like to put that down so that it looks really thick and full, but it only has the, um, the cotton stuff. And I also like the kind that has little shimmers in it. I bought some shimmers just in case I couldn't find the ones with the shimmer. I just think it gives it a nice little extra touch, but I went ahead and flocked the garland as well, just to give it a little extra touch. I wanted to keep it pretty loose and a little kind of rustic look in here. I still am not sure what we're going to end up doing over here. If I'm going to end up, um, decorating those or not. I mean, we'll see. I kind of haven't put it all together yet, but we're going to keep working on it. We're only on day three. So, um, so this is as far as we have gotten. Now that I know that the flock tree for this turret is sitting on the porch. Oh, oh my God, you guys are going to be the friggin' best Christmas ever. All right, let's keep decorating. So while I was outside, I was also so excited to see my weekly Thrive Market box was out there. And this is the perfect time to take a quick break, change sweaters, and have something to eat. I absolutely love Thrive Market. I think I've shared this with you guys on my channel quite a few times. But I wanted to share a couple of the yummy snacks that I love to get when I order their organic snacks online. So here's everything I have. I have Superfood Smoothies. This is for our little guy. He likes to have these. I like that they're uh, plant protein. And then I did some cauliflower snacks. I'm gonna keep these in the box and use them on their lunch during the week here at the house. Here are some power snacks. I always like to have food that, like a super food that'll help them kind of eat a little healthy, but also, you know, it's got chocolate, so they're gonna like it. These are fruit bites, so they're really soft and super easy to eat. They're also plant-based. So I love to have those on hand. These are Z-bars, so in the morning, if the kids just need a little bite in between meals, so in between breakfast and lunch, I try to not give them a bunch of food so they can grab one of those. I also have some applesauce. Again, those are for the lunches. Then I love these. I must have like 100 packs of these, but these are the paleo snack mixes. I love them. They're gluten-free, vegan, and grain-free, but they have the most amazing flavors. So this week, I did the trio for the ranch, Chipotle barbecue, which I got for myself, and then the savory, which is basically just salt. So I get those. What I'm gonna do is actually pre-portion these out. I can make about 10 per pack. So when the kids um, go to eat it, they're not taking the whole bag with them, eating a little, and then it's like getting lost somewhere in the house or wasted. Then I have grain-free puffs. I love these. I'm also going to pre-package these so kids can take a couple. We can also add them to their lunch. This is actually for my husband. I pre-package these, he keeps them in his car and we eat them in the house, but I don't know if you guys have had these before, but they are so good. 
And then right rice, which is like one of my all time favorite things ever. Right rice is basically, I don't know if you guys have had this. It comes in a ton of different flavors. I also like the garlic lemon, I think it is. No, garlic herb. I have, I already have some though, but I was out of Spanish and this is basically rice that's made out of vegetables and it is so good. Tell me in the comments if you guys have tried that. I have a hard time finding it places, so I love that I can get it from Thrive. So basically this is everything I have to survive Thanksgiving break with the kids. I only have really five days. The other two days were with family, so they'll be eating probably all kinds of different stuff then, but this is what I'm going to need to get them through lunches for the first week. If you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market before, it is an awesome online market where you can order all your favorite snacks for any lifestyle, whether it's keto, paleo, organic, you name it, they have it, and they have it at awesome members only pricing. One of the things I love about Thrive Market is I can order awesome organic food to keep my kids eating healthy during the holidays, and it gets delivered right to my doorstep. If you guys want to join me and check out Thrive Market, go to thrivemarket.com slash Lauren Nicholson for 30% off your first order and three extra special gifts. Okay, let's get back into this video. So now I'm going to start building the turret tree. I ended up going with a seven and a half foot flock tree here. I wanted to keep with that very light colored theme in this whole space. That way when you are in the entryway or you're driving by, you kind of see all these really beautifully lit trees, but they're not all decorated, which I think actually looks really pretty. I'm going to tuck some pillows in here later in a couple different videos, but for right now, I just want to get this all built and continue decorating the entryway. For the little trio here, I'm just gonna add some twinkle lights. They looked a little sad in the corner, so I decided to just tuck these in just to kind of create a nice little ethereal look over here, but not be too over the top. So for a finishing touch, I'm going to add one of those snow blankets underneath the turret tree. I still need to get some more snow. We're going to tackle that hopefully tomorrow in the next video, but I just love how this warms up this space and makes it look so beautiful and snow white. Guys, entryway is a wrap. I cannot believe how beautiful this turned out. Right when you walk in, there's this beautiful gate, great, <laughs> great Gatsby tree. I love these ornaments. Oh my gosh, they're so stunning. I feel like if you're looking for this type of ornament, like something really classic and beautiful and timeless, you should definitely take a look at this set. I got this from Balsam Hill. I'll link it down below. And look at this one too. It's so pretty. I love them. They're beaded and they have rhinestones on them. And I just think they're so pretty. I can't wait to do my home tour. And then this one looks great. I might do a little more flocking on that. We still have a ways to go, but then we have our garland here. I feel like this turned out beautiful and simple. Up the stairway. And then over here, we have these adorable little flock trees. I'm just waiting for the snow to come to fill that. So I've got snow there and then up this stairway we have this just very simple flock tree here i don't plan on doing anything with this i am going to put some more snow here and this is what it looks like from here and in there guys. Well, I'm going to go keep editing videos and I will see you tomorrow.
Hey there and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of my Christmas Decorate With Me 2021. So today we are going to be finishing the living room which happens to currently be my most favorite room of all the rooms I've decorated so far. I cannot wait to share with you how this turns out but once we're done with that I'm going to go into the entryway. I'm going to be putting up a nine foot flock tree and starting to get this room going but then it gets a little late so we got to jump into the kitchen and start cooking. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and helping me make a bourbon sugar pork chop oh my god you guys this is so good we'll get into this in a minute but if you guys haven't heard of HelloFresh it is the best definitely go to the link down below but I'll talk about that at the end of this video if you're new here my name is Lauren Nicholson I do all things home cooking cleaning and decorating and I would be so honored if you would subscribe it is totally free and it helps us stay connected as we decorate through the seasons if you're returning it is so good to see your beautiful face let's get into this video choirs of angels sing in exultation Sing all your citizens of heaven above. Hey guys, here we are in the living room, day two. Everything looks so pretty in the day. Um, it's the next day, midday, it's about one o'clock. We had some family time today, so I haven't been decorating at all. But now that the kids are settled in and we are back, I want to keep going. So, what I have over here, I've cleaned everything off here. And I might move these chairs, I'm not sure. I'm gonna take you guys along with me because I'm actually not really sure what I wanna do in here yet. The tree turned out adorable. I love this. I tucked in some really cute deer that I picked up from Michael's, no, Target last year. Um, I just kind of put them in there and I just think this turned out really beautiful. I also have some nutcrackers I might be adding to this as well. And then I put all of the pillows and blankets here. I'm thinking about draping two blankets like this kind of white with like a little Christmas plaid. That way it's not arguing too much with the red of the tree, but I'm thinking of cascading them here and then putting the chairs in the corner. I have the couch pillows kind of off to the side right now. So in here, I need to clear everything out of there and start getting that room done. And I hope to get that done today as well with you guys. So what we're gonna do here is do the mantle and just really finish this room all together. Hopefully we can get it done today. I can't wait and we need to get decorating. What else do I have here? Oh, I wanted to share this with you guys. This is the most beautiful thing a subscriber sent me and it came last night, but I was able to open it and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is an adorable frame and there are 12 pictures, one for each holiday. And I, this is the Christmas one. And I just thought this was so beautiful i cannot wait to put that up i want to put it in here and then let me show you the other things they sent these are from amazon so i'm going to actually be linking them down below for you guys is basically on the back you just take the back off and inside are a ton of different posters you can put in here and i'll link them down below in case you're looking for something like that it could also be a really nice gift for somebody but Thank you so much for sending this to me. It means so much to me, and I just, I was so surprised to even see this in my mailbox. So thank you so much for sending that. I'll be using that and thinking of you this holiday season. Okay. So before I get started in any room, I try to take as much out so that I can really visualize where I want to put things. I definitely wanted to put two blankets in these corners. They looked a little bare and I kind of want to warm up the sides of this room. So instead of putting the chairs here, I decided to make each part of the little couch that we have here that's built in, which we're not finished with. Um, that will be a DIY project that we're gonna do probably in February. But um, I like to make this area kind of look like two little chairs, but not have anything in front of the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna be moving the chairs over by the fireplace and I actually got new chairs. I cannot wait to show you. So to kind of bring in the corners of the room, I was thinking of actually putting two trees where these busts are, but then I decided to just add a very simple, pretty holly berry swag, just kind of hanging off of these. I think this turns out really pretty and it definitely brings the red into the room, but it's not overwhelming. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him. So if 
if you are new to my channel, I wanted to take a moment and introduce myself. My name is Lauren and I live in Northern California. I'm a mom of four kids. You won't see them here on my channel, but they're, they're around. And I am married and I'm also a full-time executive in the wine industry. I love doing home decor and this has become like a really fun creative outlet for me to share some home decor ideas, but also most well, importantly, I get to know other people around the world that love it as much as I do. So if you are new, definitely say in the comments down smile. below where you live, what you love about home decor, and how we can get to know you better. All from the lights to the mistletoe. So for the curtains, I just added some very simple cascading ribbon just to tie in the red from the wreath here and the Christmas tree. But I absolutely love how this turned out. It, again, it reminds me of being in like a really beautifully decorated hotel. It's just so fun and a little over the top, but I mean, why not? It's a holidays. So I like this. It's nice and kind of quiet over here with the white blanket and pillow. And then we've got our big Christmas tree here. Now that we're done with this side of the room, I want to get over to the mantle and start decorating there. Dream I know this Christmas I only wanna be cool. So for the mantle, I'm just gonna be using three pencil trees that I picked up at Michael's a couple years ago, and I'm just gonna add some red ribbon. I did run out of red ribbon this particular day, so we'll be coming back into this room at another day, and I'll be adding some more ribbon and some more ornaments here as well. But I do love the way that this kind of frames the fireplace, and then I'll be adding some really cute decor on here that's very traditional Santa Claus. So for the ornaments on this tree, I wanted to tuck in some spray painted gold pine cones. I've got a couple little gold ornaments. I may come back and redo this later. I don't love how this turned out, but we had to keep it moving. So I ended up just adding in just simple gold ornaments and we'll come back and put some different red ribbon on here, but I didn't want to make it too loud considering it's right next to our main Christmas tree. But now that I have those done, I want to bring in the chairs we had reupholstered. I love these, they're just gorgeous Victorian chairs. I actually think they fit better in this room than our old came back chairs that I loved but they're very large so I'm glad we took them out and got these instead and then for this little turret uh, window here all I want to do here is just add a beautiful little wreath I have some wonderful red garland that I just want to tuck in here and then I'm gonna put some of those old nostalgic Christmas books up and get that area nice and cute I only want to be close to you. Oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it. I love these old books. They're kind of nesting books, so you can put them all inside of each other, but I think they're so cute and nostalgic. I picked them up at Home Goods last year or the year before i can't remember but you can i saw them at walmart this year so if you're looking for those check out those two places because these are super cute plus you can nest them inside of each other so they're easy for storage i want to add just a couple of these beautiful pillar candles i got from balsam hill this fall i love these they're kind of like a birch tree vibe and then i'm going to put a nice little santa claus here i am going to switch some things up later in the week so definitely stick around to see how i kind of transform this again but I absolutely love how this turns out. I got this Merry Christmas sign from Target last year and it's just so beautifully done. I absolutely love this. So to frame out the mantle, I'm gonna go ahead and add these two really beautiful three foot nutcrackers I picked up at Home Depot. I love these, they are so classic and nostalgic, but I also love how slim they are. They fit perfectly here and I just think that they give it a nice warm kind of traditional Christmas touch. Let your love keep shining. For the ottoman, I wanted to add kind of a soft little, kind of like a cocoa bar feel, but tuck in some cups and some candy canes and just really kind of make this look a little bit warm and complete this entire space. So Cause it's crazy. 
I just love how simple this is. The kids can refill their cocos, have a candy cane while we read the night before Christmas. So when I pulled all my Christmas pillows out, I noticed a ton of them had all of this lint on it, and I absolutely hate when this happens, but I do have an awesome lint remover. I've used this in past videos, and y'all seem to love it, so I thought I would include it here. I'll put it down in the links below. I picked it up on Amazon, and it is it literally will make your pillow look brand new. It's amazing, so if you're having trouble with any of your decor and there's lint on it, definitely pick one of these up. I'm just gonna add a simple pillow and a simple throw. I don't want it to be too over the top on the couch just because again, it's gonna argue with the tree and it's gonna start to close the room in. For this is a little TV lift. I've talked about quite a few times on my channel, but anyway, the TV comes out of it and my husband loves it, so it's here to stay, but I, it's not my favorite thing. So to kind of con like hide it in the background, I'm gonna put a beautiful little wreath over it. And then I'm gonna tuck in this adorable little Santa letters uh, mailbox that my grandma gave me, and I'm gonna tuck some books in there so the kids can grab them when we sit by the fire and read at night. I've told lies. So this is how the living room for our Christmas 2021 turned out. I just think it is so magical in here. I love all the red. It feels like such a really beautiful nostalgic Christmas again it reminds me of some of the most amazing hotels I've been to when they decorate for Christmas and like every nook and cranny has something special and amazing but I hope you guys enjoyed it this is the very beginning part of this video today but I absolutely loved how this turned out tell me in the comments down below what you guys think and if you like the red versus what we're gonna be doing in the next room which is very gold and glam and a little bit more like we're gonna have lots of flock trees and a little quieter in there Sam's is coming home to me absolutely love how this room turned out. I wanted to share kind of a fun gift giving idea for you guys if you're interested. I actually found this at Target, but it's a 24 beers of cheers. It's a limited edition craft beer kind of style variety pack that features 11 nationally awarded beers with 13 different styles. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually a huge beer lover despite being in the wine industry. Um, there's this fun joke that we always say in the wine industry that it takes a lot of good beer to make great wine. So I wanted to share this with you. I thought it'd be the perfect gift for anybody who's looking for something kind of fun and different to give to a loved one. I will try to provide a link for you guys to check this out. If not, I know you can pick it up. Well, I saw, I found mine at Target, but I think you can pretty much pick these up anywhere. I do know that it's a limited edition pack and I do know that you can order them online. So I will do a little research and link what I can down below, but definitely wrap this baby up and share it with somebody that you love close to you that loves beer as much as I do. All right, let's get back into this video. Okay, so here we are in the entryway. I haven't done the porch yet, but we're gonna do that I think on the last day but I've got everything cleaned up and ready. All the fall stuff has been taken out. So my thought for here is to do the nine foot flock tree here. 
I'm thinking of doing some kind of beautiful swept garland up the staircase, which I think would look really pretty. Probably put a nice giant wreath up there, but I need to get a certain ladder for that. And then thinking of putting another small flock tree here. So when you're looking, you have a flock tree here, one little one there, and then I have a little trio that will go right over there. So there's a six foot, a five foot, a four foot, just to kind of warm up that area, but not do too much. So then you'll go into here to kind of a winter wonderland. Okay guys, let's get decorating. So since the day is kind of coming to an end, I am going to just put this tree up and build the little trio of little flock trees I picked up from Target. I will link as many of these down below as I can. Um, two of them are from Balsam Hill and I'm not sure where this one's from. I will go look though. I bought it two years ago. I'm pretty sure I got it from Target, but I will go ahead and link what I have down below. This particular night, this is a wonderful example of why I love HelloFresh because I am it's probably around five o'clock at night here. I always, I have an alarm on my phone every day that goes off at 5.30 that says time to start cooking. And right in the middle of, of building the second tree, uh, my alarm went off and I looked out on the porch. What to my wondering eye should appear but a beautiful box of HelloFresh. So I am going to actually be making what, I'll show you what they sent me this week and I will also make one of their dishes with you so you can see how yummy they are. But before that, let's go ahead and finish this tree and get as much as we can done. I'd love to know in the comments down below if you guys have flock trees at home or if you use kind of more traditional green trees. I would love to know what you guys use or do you do a mix like I do and what, are, what do you prefer? I will tell you it's hard to do the, too many flock trees just because of all of that white stuff that dust everywhere but um, they look so beautiful and I like how kind of bright the room becomes when you add them but tell me down in the comments below which one you prefer. So now that we have all the trees up, I want to do a nice clean before we get started again tomorrow on day three, but I'll take you around the room and show you everything that we finished today and get everything nice and clean before we start cooking. So here's how everything has turned out so far. I'm gonna call it a night. So we're on day two or three. I'm not even sure at this point what day we're on. But here is how this turned out. I absolutely love this flock tree. It's the same one I use every year. I will link down below everything I have that is still available for purchase. I know this one is for sure, but, but here's how that turned out. And then over here, we have three of these. Now tomorrow, we are going to be adding two more trees here and that tree does not come until Tuesday so we will put that up Wednesday so this essentially it's Sunday right now this room won't be done probably until like Wednesday or third well Thursday's Thanksgiving so it'll be done you know Wednesday or so because I still need to do all the garland as well and I'm going to keep all of this kind of hello uh, winter white but aren't these cute I need to cut this off, this tag thing, but I think these are adorable. I'm gonna put some snow down below, but again, I may put one large tree here, and then um, one large tree there, and then maybe two large trees here. But. 
Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be decorating the kitchen, one of my favorite rooms to decorate for Christmas and I cannot wait to show you how it turns out. We're gonna do a little cocoa bar, put some really nice traditional sweet little Christmas touches around the room. I'm also gonna share some tips on how to keep the kids busy during Christmas break and thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Laura Nicholson and I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, cleaning, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I am new to YouTube, so it would mean the world to me if you would help me grow my channel today. And if you're returning, thank you so much for all of your encouragement this year. I cannot wait to share so many more Christmas decorating videos with you and cooking videos and gift ideas. And I just have so much more to share. So don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you love Christmas as much as I do, definitely hit the like button and let's get into this video. So what I have kind of set up in here, I just got all the bins out that I kind of have left over from the house. This is the second to last room I think I have to do in the house. And I was just kind of throwing some things up here. These are some cute little things. I actually might use these for a tablescape. They're super cute. Um, can't decide if I'm gonna do a tiered tray either. But I wanted to kind of get everything laid out to see what I have to work with. I had a different theme in mind for the kitchen, but now that I kind of see what I have, I it might change. I do have all of our Christmas plates here, which I need to put away for the season. These are all really cute. The Christmas plates, spode, those are new. And then the candy cane, which I'm gonna do a total tablescape on candy canes this year. I am super excited for that. Some napkins, other plates, cups, uh, and then over here I've got some gingerbread. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm going to be putting up our giant Santa, which I always put there, and then I'm thinking about putting some wreaths on these wind or these. Uh, excuse me. I'm thinking about putting some wreaths on these doors here. I'm thinking about hanging some garland from here just to kind of make it look nice. And then I got this really beautiful ribbon from Balsam Hill, which I absolutely love. I'll link this down below. But I was thinking of taking this and wrapping the um, window here with that. I thought that would look really pretty. And I've got some little stuff for a hot cocoa bar, which is really fun. The kids love these. And some candies. What else do I have? I might hang those as well from over there. Usually I put that in my ski lodge vibe, but I'm not doing one this year. And then some other stuff. So I think we're gonna kind of get started. Like I said, I'm, I really don't know how this room's gonna turn out, but I've got all day to work on it, so we should get started. My most favorite thing to put up every year first in the kitchen when I'm decorating for Christmas is this beautiful nostalgic Santa. I will link it down below. I absolutely love how it fits so perfect over our stove and it just gives all the good, beautiful Christmas vibes about still believing in Santa and I just love it. So I'm gonna be adding that and then I decided to put some garland above the hood. I've actually never done this before and I really love the way it turned out. It just gives a completely different feel to this kitchen. I will link down below all my videos from last last year so you guys can see the kitchen look completely different than this year so I can't wait to see which one you like more. Oh, it's midnight, and though it's cold outside, we're staying and the stars this year I decided to take these really sweet little cypress wreaths and I'm gonna hang them over only one side of the kitchen. I'm gonna hang them over the uh, cabinets. I think this is really sweet. I've seen this done before. I found this really pretty velvet red ribbon. It's by Martha Stewart. So if you're looking for that, I found mine at uh, Home Goods. So I just think it gives a nice sweet touch. I did remove the red and white little ribbon that these came with. I found these in the dollar section at Target. So if you're looking for something similar, definitely check them out as well. For 
the curtains in the kitchen, I wanted to add this beautiful ribbon that I picked up from Balsam Hill just to bring in that beautiful kind of classic look for Christmas. I love how this turned out. I do have these gorgeous bells that I picked up from Michaels a couple years ago. I wanted to spray them out gold, but I didn't have time this year, so I might be able to do that next year. But I just wanted to kind of tie this area up so that it still brings in the feels of Christmas, but looks very sweet and classic. I wanted to take a little break in this video and go hang out with the kids for a little bit and work on our KiwiCo boxes. I don't know if I've shared KiwiCo on this channel before, but I absolutely love them. It actually was started by a mom of three who lives really close to where I live, and I can't wait to share it with you. So in the corners of the kitchen, I'm just gonna add some very simple little Christmas details here with these cute old vintage books and some cookbooks. I didn't wanna go over the top. You guys know I love cooking and I have so many amazing recipes I'm gonna be sharing with you in 2022. So I'm gonna keep this area pretty clean so I can keep cooking through the holidays. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag? I got racks, racks in my sack or in my bag. One of my favorite things to do when I'm decorating for really any holiday or season is I like to tuck in little cute details. So in this area, instead of just having the boxes and the tree, I'm gonna add a couple little elements just to really warm it up and make it look sweet and wonderful. So for our hot cocoa bar, I am going to be adding in some really cute gingerbread houses and a bunch of coffee cups. I'm gonna actually end up changing this because everything got kind of cluttered in this corner, so I'm gonna actually spread it out. For any hot cocoa bar, I like to tuck in some peppermint sticks. I like to put some candy canes, chocolates, all kinds of fun little stir sticks. I find all of mine at Home Goods, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere. But I like to add all of that here. In the morning, I will say we have hot cocoa almost every morning, probably not the best thing, but I've already scheduled all of the dentist appointments for the first week in January. So I like to have hot cocoa for the kids. They come over, they pick their own stir sticks out. Sometimes they use them, sometimes they don't. But our neighbors are always Always stopping by so I always like to have a little candy here for them as well just to kind of warm up the holiday spirit little cluttered so I'm gonna actually move the hot cocoa sign over just a little and that way I can have a little more room where I can tuck in just a couple more little candy jars and cute things. So now that the hot cocoa bar is already done, I want to go ahead and add a nice little garland over the lights in the kitchen. I kind of want to tie this space in. I didn't know quite what to do here. I might actually change this in a later video, but I think it does turn out really cute and unique. I decided instead of napkins, I wanted to put some beautiful wreaths here. The napkins always get used immediately and I just didn't want to have to keep changing them out every day. So I'm going to add some wreaths to the washers just to give it a nice Christmas touch. When the storm is on its way, but but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. 
Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. In the last little corner, I decided to add some of this beautiful felt garland. I love this. I actually have quite a bit of this. I put it in the bathroom upstairs and on the other side of the kitchen. And I just think it's so beautiful and nostalgic and just super traditional. But I want to add a uh, our advent calendars here. My kids love those and a cookie jar. And just again, I like to tuck in some sweet little details that just keep the mind wandering around, just looking at all the cute little things that are hidden in this room. But I love how this kitchen turns out I'll take you on a tour right after we're done okay guys so we're all done with the kitchen I'm gonna take you on a little quick tour and then I gotta start cooking I didn't end up doing a tablescape because I am going to start cooking dinner right now, but I want to show you how everything turned out. guys enjoyed today's Christmas kitchen decorate with me I had so much fun I'm probably gonna keep decorating the kitchen so I'll be sharing things throughout the season on my channel I do want to tell you one very important thing make sure you're subscribed make sure that you have the notification bell on because I bought the most over-the-top Christmas decoration I have ever seen I have never seen it on Pinterest I've never seen it on any magazine and I want you to be the first one to see it so definitely make sure you've got the notification bell on because it is going to be 
crazy over the top. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the comments down below what you liked most about this Christmas decorate with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a great time decorating and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today is day four of our Christmas Decorate With Me 2021 and we are going over the top. I cannot tell you how over the top this bedroom Decorate With Me is so you're just gonna have to wait to watch the whole thing to see how it turns out. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, and cleaning and I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. It is totally free and it allows us to connect through the seasons while we decorate and cook and just do fun things at home. If you're returning, it is so good to see you. I cannot wait to share this room with you guys. If you guys have been enjoying my Christmas Decorate With Me series, definitely like this video and let's just jump right into it. Cup of kindness yet for days of long sign And here's my Okay, so over here I have my room planner, everything we're going to be doing in here. I still have all my fall up and I really definitely want to remove some of these things. I think I'm going to put some trees over here. I definitely want to do a wreath on the on the bed. I might put some trees over there. I might take all of this stuff out. I'm not sure. Here's everything we have to work with. I just grabbed a couple things from downstairs I thought would look cute in here. I have no clue how this is going to turn out, but I figure we should get started. I definitely have some cute pillows though. Let me show you this. These are super soft. I picked up from Michael's. No, home goods, definitely home goods. And then these, I just thought these were so cute with the little pom poms. And who doesn't love a little cable knit? I have some birch trees. I wanna do something cute on the mantle. I have no idea, I'm just so excited to get this going. So let's get started. And just a hand of fine. We'll talk a cup. get started I'm gonna go ahead and build all of these birch trees I am not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet I am not even sure I'm gonna use all of these birch trees but I did need to get them built anyway so I'm gonna do that really quick before I start on the mantle so the idea for this room is very ethereal I want lots of pretty soft white light in here so I decided to use these sticks and some beautiful pillar candles that I picked up at Amazon I will link the ones I have down below and these birch trees because there are some birch trees that I've ordered online that are really really crappy and these are really good ones like really good so I will be linking those for sure but what I'm going to do is is put these beautiful pillar candles on here I want to use like a ton of them like a hundred and I got the ones that have the remote so I don't have to sit here and actually turn all of these off at night because that would not be relaxing <laughs> it would create more stress than it would the ambiance so I'm going to kind of make these high and low and then mix in some really small tea candles and see how this turns out before we try, try to tackle the bed should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind should all acquaintance be forgot and days of all 
can't wait to show you guys the mantle when it's all lit. We'll do that at the very end, but I've already cleaned off the dresser here. I'm going to just be putting on a couple trees and I'm going to remove this lamp, which I absolutely love, but I'm going to remove it and add a couple of these trees I picked up from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then I'm going to also be adding a birch tree here later to create kind of almost like the illusion of a lamp or kind of like falling snow in the corner. I can't wait to show you that part because it actually is really cool. I love how these birch trees are super malleable. the bed I am going to be using a really beautiful faux fur blanket I picked up from Target and my favorite Omnia pillow let's take a moment and talk about the Omnia pillow because I feel like for Christmas this could be one of the most amazing gifts I that I am on my second one of these my husband stole my other one and I absolutely love them if you guys haven't heard of the sleep and glow pillow the Omnia it is amazing it helps fight and prevent sleep wrinkles and it's super soft it also has an orthopedic property to this to the actual pillow which is kind of like that memory foam, but it is so amazing. It keeps your skin from wrinkling, but it also has really awesome placements for your head. I'm a side sleeper, so for me, my head cradles right in the middle, and then my face kind of hangs off the side so that I'm not kind of suffocating in my pillow and pushing my face down and getting wrinkly in the process. If you are looking for a gift for somebody, this is a must. I absolutely love this pillow, and I hope you guys try it. If you do, definitely tell me on Instagram what you think, because I promise, Everyone in your house is gonna fight over it. It is the greatest pillow ever. So for over the bed, I'm just gonna add a simple little wreath and some white little picks, and I'm gonna remove this blanket. I also picked this up from the Casa Luna line during uh, fall, and it's just super wonderful and weighted, and I absolutely love it. But I'm gonna be adding a beautiful kind of faux fur blanket. This just makes me think of like a cozy winter jacket. I'm gonna throw this on the bed, and then I'm gonna add some really beautiful pillows just to really bring in that cozy winter vibe. I love how this bed turned out. It is so cozy. And let me tell you, sleeping in it is amazing. The cats stay in it all day. They absolutely love it too. But my husband and I do tea every night before bed. So I, I didn't want to do like an over the top coffee station up here, but I did want to put a little area together where I could put some tea. We usually bring it up in a tea kettle or a teapot. And then I always have cups up here just so that we have nice hot tea when we get in bed. I thought I'd add a little tree just to make it look cozy and cute and then drop a couple peppermint stir sticks. So now that that side of the room is done, I need to start building these trees. These are really easy. All you need to do is straighten out the little twigs and vines, and then you can um, position them the way you want, especially if you're gonna tuck it into a corner, you're gonna want everything kind of facing out into the room. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes here, more like a couple hours, and build all these trees, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now I'm back. I just had to go make lasagna for the kids and do a little dinner. So now I'm back and we are ready. I spent a little bit of time getting these all flocked up, but aren't they amazing? Like even just these sitting here look so good. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. So I have a little bit of some really pretty kind of white fur, kind of like the blanket to go on these. I'm gonna clear everything off here 
and maybe put like a little snow down. I don't quite know what I'm going to do here yet. And I may remove that, but I'm not really sure. My husband doesn't totally use this closet, so I might. I might just put something in front of it. I don't know, but like how cozy is this? It looks so cozy. Okay. So right now, let me turn this aperture down. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the windows and then I'm going to start to put these around the room. Then we're going to light everything and see how it turned out. For these windows, I just like to billow it a little bit more in the winter time. It gets really cold. This is an old 1891 Victorian. So the windows are pretty thin up here and we haven't replaced them yet. So I like to kind of use this curtain to kind of keep keep the room a little warmer so I'm just going to tuck in a really pretty white uh, it's like a white faux fur uh, ribbon here and I'm going to just kind of give it a little bit of texture and cuteness and get this area ready to add the trees after drink as I do this time if you're excited to see how this room turns out, definitely hit that like button right now. And do not forget to subscribe because I have so many more videos to show you guys. If you also wanna check out some of my other Decorate With Me's from this year's Christmas, they are down in the descriptions down below. For this little window, I'm just gonna clear everything off. I was thinking about actually adding some snow here, but then I realized it's just gonna become really messy and something else that needs to be kind of tended to and cleaned. So I'm just gonna clear it out. And again, my vision for this room is to get really quiet space where we can have really quiet time. My husband and I can do some reading and thinking and it's not so loud and bright. So I'm going to start here in the corner. I've removed some of the things my husband kind of doesn't need that stuff during this time of year. And I'm going to add, I've got an eight foot, a six foot and a four foot tree in this corner. And I'm going to kind of get everything positioned. I'm going to get everything plugged in. Then I'll put the snow down. That way I can keep moving things around until all the lights seem very balanced. Um, I love these eight foot trees. I will link this set down. It's the only one I would recommend out of all of these. The, the light is beautiful. The, um, the height of it is beautiful and actually the structure of the tree is a lot um, it's it looks like and the structure of the tree looks real I decided to add four of these around the TV. I feel like it really frames the TV beautifully and also looks really nice at night. I can't wait to show you guys the end of this video. I wish I could just speed it up, but I wanna show you how I did everything in case you wanna do this at home. If you have a home that let's say is a little smaller or you have darker walls, I highly recommend using these instead of using like traditional Christmas trees. You might wanna pick some of these up just to bring in that ethereal, beautiful light. It really turns out beautiful. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I wanted to add one more birch tree over here, but I'm gonna turn it into almost like a little lamp. So I'm gonna move all of these branches down, kind of cascading over these trees. So now I'm gonna get everything turned on. I'm definitely gonna need some extension cords in here, but I wanna get everything turned on to see what looks right and if I have too much light in one corner or another, but everything seemed to turn out nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of snow at the bottom and then I'll take you guys on a little tour. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days. 
So here is how the room turned out. I love this little tea station. I use it every night. We put it at the foot of the bed when we're done having tea at night. And these birch trees are everything. This room feels like I'm sleeping in a cloud. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love these fur blankets. We will probably keep those out through the spring. And I have to be honest, I am kind of considering keeping these trees up as well, if not putting them in my girl's room and making it like a wonderful forest. But I absolutely love this. I highly recommend this style of decor. If you are looking for something that's a little bit more ethereal or the lighting is a little bit more, I don't know. Only word that comes to mind is magnificent. I highly recommend trying this because it turns out beautiful. But I'll show you around the room and then I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. and welcome to my channel. Today is by far the most exciting video I think I will be putting up for Christmas, you guys. We are decorating all kinds of stuff today. I'm on the porch, I'm in the bathroom, and most importantly, I am wrapping my friggin' house for Christmas. Definitely stay tuned to the end to see, and let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay guys, we are now on, I think, day five. I'm not sure, but today we have so much to do. So up here, I've got another tree we're gonna be putting right here. I just moved the table. So I've got this tree we're gonna put here. Again, I don't wanna decorate it. I just wanna make it kinda look pretty and like give it the same winter wonderland look that we kinda have going throughout the stairway. We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go do the bathroom and hopefully get to the porch, if not today, tomorrow. But let's get started. I am so excited to be finishing the entryway kind of decor style. If you guys haven't been following along with my Christmas Decorate With Me's this year, I will link them all down below so you can get caught up if you haven't already seen them. I kind of did this winter wonderland in the entryway up the staircase and now at the top of the staircase. I just really feel like this tree really ties all together. This was in my girls' room last year. I thought it would look much prettier out here since they're doing pink trees in there this year. I love this, really simple, not gonna decorate this. Just keep it really simple and kind 
kind of beautiful and ethereal. If you guys saw my master bedroom, it kind of has that same ethereal vibe. So I thought this would be the perfect fit. I want to head into the bathroom and just put in some really sweet traditional Christmas touches. I feel like this just warms up every morning and just gives it that nice nostalgic feel. I will try to link down below everything I picked up. This adorable Merry Christmas sign I picked up from our local home goods, and it is so cute. I absolutely love this. And most of the other stuff I think I picked up at the dollar section at Target, but I'm not sure. A lot of this stuff is Target. I had a really hard time finding decor. I know you guys saw that on my channel, but I've really had a hard time finding some new decor this Christmas for the house, but home goods always has my back. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice a special cause I'm home I love how simple the bathroom turned out. This is so cute and just gives it that nice, wonderful Christmas feeling every morning and every night before we go to bed. I want to head outside. I pulled out some of the items I used out here last year. Living room is still looking beautiful. But what I'm thinking of is doing kind of like a nutcracker, continuing with the red here. So we kind of break the red up, do a little red here, then do the white in here. And then we also have that up there looking beautiful. But that way we go red and then the kind of quietness, and then the red in here. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting this garland around the door here, and then maybe a couple nutcrackers on the sides, maybe these doors. I also have these beautiful topiaries I picked up from Balsam Hill, and these lanterns, so I'm gonna definitely be using those. And then these bows, I'm not sure. I'm really feeling a bow vibe this year. I might put these down below. I also need to do the yard as well. I've already put some poinsettias up, but I need to put those out here. I might also wrap these, maybe make them look like a little candy cane. A little candy cane action here. That could look super cute. And my beautiful tree. I love this time of year. It's so magical. So the other thing I'm thinking of doing is taking these two chairs and turning them this way and maybe putting some trees behind them, making it kind of like a little winter wonderland around them, but I'm not sure yet. We're gonna see. I first need to clean all this off and then we'll get started and see where, where the decor takes us today. Over the years, I've always kind of struggled putting our house together for Christmas. Our house doesn't have a super symmetrical front, and I always feel like no matter how hard I try, it always feels lopsided. Like the front always seems so overly done, but then the whole other half of the house just has nothing. So I am very excited to show you how I end up kind of bringing some sense of symmetry and kind of overdoing the front of the house. But I thought I wanted to keep the porch a little more simple. I will definitely link down my porch decorate with me from last year because it was way over the top. This year, 
I wanted to make sure that the porch wasn't super overdone because I don't want it to compete with what I'm gonna actually do on the front of the house. I found these adorable topiaries that match perfect with this garland I picked up a long time ago and I love it. I found this at Balsam Hill. I ended up getting two of them and what I like is the little red berries are actually removable so I can use this year round. I will definitely link it down below if you're looking for something similar. I decided to add these two nutcrackers I picked up from Home Depot and some trees. I think the trees are from Home Depot. I got them a long time ago to the staircase. Last year, I lined these with poinsettias and it was very hard to keep them alive, especially during the cold season. So I decided to try to find something a little simpler. Excuse me, I'm gonna add these really cute bows to kind of make these little pillars look like presents. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun once I got this done, I decided I wanted to put the porch together and make it a little cute. This night, it was particularly our town's Christmas parade, and we had some other families coming over, so I wanted to kind of make it cozy and cute and also create like a little tiny candy cane bar so that when the kids came before we all walked down to the parade, they had a little something. But I do end up changing it later after a little storm finally hit Northern California and we got some rain. I decided to actually change it. So you're going to see that all unfold here. Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I love how cozy and sweet this turned out. It was so fun for the kids to run up and grab candy like it was Halloween for the Christmas parade, but I obviously needed to take this down, but I definitely wanna show you guys how this turns out at night because it looks so magical. I wanted to also let you guys know that if you are looking for more videos or a little bit more inspiration for decorating during the seasons, check out my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I'm going to be trying to post more there in the coming year. It has been a wonderful year and thank you so much to all of my subscribers and I hope to see you guys over on Instagram as well. Is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with I'll go ahead and link all of the birch trees I used outside down below. I used them in my bedroom, decorate with me as well, and I had a couple left over, so I decided to add them to the porch, but I highly don't recommend putting this somewhere they can get wet. I do not think that they're uh, meant for outside, but for this particular night, it was a beautiful day, and it just looks so good at night. Go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents Well, good morning. Today is the day. We have our giant bow here. I know it doesn't look like much, but and the ribbon we are going to use to wrap the house. I've got some more extra bows here, some trees, we've got some nutcrackers, i got some cleaning to do. So I'll take you guys down here and give you a little overview of what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure we're going to wrap all of these with some lights. What we're going to do is, starting at the very top, I'm going to put, it's a three foot ribbon so we're going to put it down the middle here so it will go over the window but it'll look great and then over this part will be the other sash and then the big giant bow will go right in here 
I think it's gonna look adorable. I've wanted to do this for so many years. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Okay guys, so we've got the bow here and we're about to go on the roof and get this onto the house. I hope this looks as good in reality as it does in my mind. This is the big bow that's gonna go right there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. So while we're getting everything ready for the bow to be put onto the house, I thought I would just throw the lights up around these little, my we call them globes, but they're like just little topiaries around the house. I love this wagon. I think I've shown this in quite a few of my videos, but when I am decorating the front yard, I love using the wagon so that I can just drag it along with all of my decor in it. I don't have to keep picking up a bin. I also use it for our Halloween parade. I used it for our Christmas parade. I use it for everything, but I'm pretty sure I've talked about it, but I'll link it down below it just it collapses down into a tiny little box it is so tiny but it is super mighty we carry all four of our kids in it no problem but I'm gonna finish doing all of the lights around the house and then we are gonna get this bow up and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product So to add the wrapping to the house, we ended up hiring professionals, but it was pretty simple to just add to the top, throw it down, and then use a staple gun to affix it to the house. And I think it turns out beautiful. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. The wonders of life got the prettiest side. For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I will be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying you better loosen your belt Drinking up wine by the fire yeah. Don't care of anything else I hope you guys enjoyed today's Decorate With Me and that big beautiful bow on top of the house. I have to tell you guys, I've wanted to do that for so many years and it felt so good to finally see it come to fruition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be finishing decorating for Christmas 2021 and I cannot wait. This has been such a wonderful time of year to be decorating around the house, but I have to tell you, I'm so excited to be done. We're gonna be doing the kitchen, the dining room, and kind of the entryway into the pantry. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson. I do all things home decorating and cooking and I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, it's great to see you. Let's jump right into this video. For the kitchen, I wanted to actually do a nice little tablescape in here for the kids when they get home from school. I want to do a kind of gingerbread theme cookie party in here. It's their last day of school before uh, winter break, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what I'm going to do in here. I picked up some great dishes from Home Goods over the years, so I'm just going to lay those all out, and then I'm going to actually be putting some plates out. That way they can have some snacks while they get decorating on their gingerbread houses. <laughs> Thank you. 
Since it's been super cold here, I live in Northern California if you're new to my channel, and it's been really cold here recently, which has been weird because we had like 75 degree, 80 degree days in December, and now it's like 41 degrees. So it's pretty cold here. So I wanted to get some coffee, some like little coffee cups so I could add some hot cocoa to those, and then start putting out all the little candies that they can use to decorate their gingerbread houses. How is decorating going for you guys? I'm sure most of you are already done. I know I'm a little late to the game this year, but um, I definitely wanted to make sure I shared everything along the way with you but how has your decorating been going decided to add some really simple napkins here just because I know it'll be kind of messy with all the candy and chocolate so I decided to just grab these I picked these up at home goods a couple years ago and they just have a really simple red ribbon around them and then I'm gonna use these cute little black napkin rings I picked up at Hobby Lobby I think last year or the year before but I just kind of want to keep this nice and simple and enough room for the kids to be able to do all of their crafts I picked up gingerbread houses that don't come with candies I picked up a bunch of candies at Target and I'm just gonna kind of place them around the table so the kids can all share these while they're decorating their gingerbread houses I love these little chocolate stir sticks. You can grab these at Home Goods. I get them every single year and they're just so cute to put in the hot cocoa and just gives it a nice thick chocolatey taste. I'm gonna add some little cookies up here for the kids to snack on. So hopefully they won't eat all of the stuff that's meant for the gingerbread houses, but I do wanna put some like sweet little things and treats around here. I'm gonna add a couple of these chocolate covered Oreos and I also have some like little peppermint on them. Just give a nice little Christmas touch. These are super delicious. You can find them at Trader Joe's. Flake of snow is set to fall today. It comes to say that Christmas is on its merry. I'm just gonna add a little bit of candy around here, just some cute little finishing touches for our little gingerbread tablescape, but this was so much fun and the kids had so much fun decorating and all being together in the kitchen over some hot cocoa and some delicious candy, but I love how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love how this little gingerbread tablescape turned out. The kids and I had so much fun decorating and eating some candy and having some cookies and hot cocoa and it was just really fun to do this. I would love to invite you guys to um, come back to my channel and probably two days from when I post this because I will be releasing my um, home tour for Christmas 2021 uh, in the next coming days. So I really hope that you guys can come back and see that. But since we're done here in the kitchen, I wanna head into the dining room and get started in there. Before we get started, my darling Enzo wanted to wish you all a very happy holiday and stay warm and healthy and she loves you and can't wait to see you in 2022. So for this sideboard, I actually wanted to put my nativity here. I usually put it in the entryway, but because that's kind of a path 
like a pass through area of our home, I wanted to create a real beautiful spot to put this. So I decided to put it on this sideboard and I think it turns out really beautiful. I picked up this old wooden church from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then this nativity set is actually an antique that I picked up here in, um, in our town. There's a really cute antique store where I, I was able to get that. I'm going to tuck in some pretty little mercury glass. I love these. I think they just bring such an element of elegance to this setting, but I will link down below everything I can from this video, including the furniture in here, because I do get lots of questions and I always forget to link stuff. So I will definitely be linking down everything I can in the description box down below. To make this just a little cozier, I wanted to add some sparkly snow. So I'm just going to be adding snow all over the top here. And I think it really just creates a, such a beautiful effect to this nativity. Snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time for the dining room, I decided to go a little bit more modern and a little, I don't want to say minimal because that's not the right word for anything I do, but I wanted to just make it a little more modern. Tell me in the descriptions down below if you can, if you want, if you know what this kind of look is, because I, I don't really know. I just, modern is the only thing that comes to mind. So I've got our trees decorated in the corners. There's kind of like a little red and black theme going on, a little snow lift or opera ski kind of vibe to those. And then for the tablescape, I wanted to do kind of a deer feel. I noticed I had a bunch of deer piled up in one of my boxes. So I decided to put them all over this table and just kind of let it stay here. We haven't been eating at this table recently. The kids and I, we've all been eating in the kitchen for some reason. So I thought it'd be okay to add these nice pillar candles and just kind of show off all the deer that we have in our, or our Christmas stuff. All the stars shine much brighter. Is it just your I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is your absolute favorite decoration for Christmas? Other than the main Christmas tree, like what is your thing you get out that you love every year? Mine is probably the big giant Santa that's in our kitchen, but I'd love to know what your favorite is. Love in this winter wonderland. I'm gonna tuck in these really cute little spiced picks that I picked up from Michael's a couple years ago. I used them on my tablescape last year, but they I actually tucked them into the napkins. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it down below so you can see that and all my other Christmas videos as well if you were just looking for a little more inspiration before the big day. I picked up these napkins at Home Goods and the napkin rings as well, and I think this turns out pretty simple. We ended up sitting here this night, and it was just so nice to kind of sit with the little meadow in front of us of deer and the beautiful lights from the Christmas trees in the corners. I cannot wait to show you how it all turns out. It's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love In this winterland, could we fall in love In this winterland, wanna fall in love In this winter wonderland Over here, I'm gonna just add some more mercury glass to it I think I'm gonna put these pillar candles here I have a couple of spots where I want to put them, but these are really heavy and I know the kids can't accidentally kind of knock them over and our naughty elves snuck into these little atriums and they are so silly. I love these. Do you guys use these elves at, at your house? If you do, definitely tell me in the comments down below what to do with them each night. I am not that creative when it comes to these things, but my kids absolutely love them. I 
love how this room turned out. It's so fun to have Christmas trees as decoration in the corners and all over the house. We only have really one traditional tree, which is where our presents go, but I love using lots of Christmas trees just to bring warmth. And I like the light at night. It looks so magical in here. And I will do a home tour. I'm also gonna be doing a PM home tour so you guys can see everything as it is lit up at night, which is also really beautiful as well. We'll go outside. I'll take you guys through the house and upstairs so you can see everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all my other Christmas videos. I will link them down in the descriptions below if you're looking for a little bit more uh, inspiration. But it was really fun to do this with you guys again this year. And I hope that we can see lots more of each other in 2022. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button so we can stay connected. I am going to try to get on a schedule next year where I post regularly. It has been hard for me just because I work full time, but I'm hoping to do more in the coming year and I can't wait to have you guys join me. If you guys are new, my name is Lauren. I do a lot of home decorating. So if that's something you're into, definitely hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And if you're returning, thank you so much for all of your kindness this year and for supporting my channel. It means the world to me to have you here and I really do look forward to getting to know more of you over on Instagram as well. It's an easier app for me to be able to talk to you guys, but I'm always down in the comments doing my best to get back to each of you. So thank you again for making this possible for me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Hey there and Merry Christmas. Welcome to my 2021 Christmas home tour. I cannot wait to go room by room and share all the little special things that made this year's Christmas decorate with me so much fun. Let's get right into this video. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay so I wanted to start on our front porch because we went so over the top on the outside with the big beautiful traditional bow I decided to do a little less decor on the porch I did some fun candy for the Christmas Day parade which was so fun for all the kids to come up and grab some cocoa and a nice piece of candy before we went into town but I love how the porch turned out I'm gonna show you how everything looks at night as well but for this I wanted to create just a magical winter wonderland where we could hang out while we had some rain free nights I decided to add two very simple bows to the front porch with this nice holly berry garland just to really tie in the bow from the front of the house. I will link down below where I ended up ordering this from. I absolutely love how this turned out. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I wanted to do this for years. So it's exciting as this may be the last year we're in this house. So it's exciting to kind of see it all come together. I added a couple really traditional nutcrackers just to bring in a very classic feel to the porch while adding a couple more bows just to bring in some red so everything kind of went together. I'll show you at night what it looked like when we finished everything. We 
just went with some simple lights this year. I really wanted to go over the top in the yard, but it, I think it ended up turning out really classic and beautiful. I'm going to start to try to embrace a less is more vibe in 2022, but for the most part, I feel like this turned out very whimsical, super traditional, and absolutely beautiful. I love how magical the birch trees look on the front porch at night. I feel like it just transforms into a magical wonderland. But let's head inside the house so I can share all of the trees we have in there. In the entryway, I have four beautiful flocked Christmas trees. I picked these up at Balsam Hill. I'll link them down below. And I actually used some very simple Roaring Twenties ornaments that I also got from Balsam Hill as well to bring in a very classic kind of glamorous look to this area. Since it could look a little more crowded, I decided to go with a a beautiful flock tree to keep things nice and white and light and make it feel a little more like a winter wonderland and not too cluttered. I feel like when you walk into the house, it feels so magical in here. I also added a seven and a half foot flocked tree to the turret, but I did not put any ornaments on it. I wanted to keep it nice and open so when folks are outside and walking by, they can kind of look up and see the tree up there and it looks like a little snow globe. In this corner I decided to add three little trees and some ice skates just to kind of warm it up but again not decorating it I didn't want it to look too over the top and just keep things nice and simple to the right of our entryway is our main living room where I have a nine foot balsam hill which I made beautiful with some red ribbons and some classic gold ornaments. I also have some beautiful balsam hill limb trees that I added next to the fireplace just to kind of frame it out and warm up that area. I also found those two nutcrackers from Home Depot. Again, I'll link them down below in case you're interested in picking them up. For this tree, I used some really beautiful antique ornaments and just some beautiful things that can be seen from the street as well as in the house. I wanted to keep the living room very traditional. I love traditional Christmas decor, so this area I can have lots of these beautiful red plaids and some just really nostalgic Santa Claus and just keeping things very traditional. The night and Christ was born Oh night For the mantle, I just added some of this berry, kind of holly berry garland, and a couple of the Santas that I have in my collection, as well as these Christmas nesting books, which I will link down below. I found this Merry Christmas sign last year at Target, and I just think it gives the most wonderful kind of hand-painted look. And then I added a couple ornaments on the trees. We always put our stockings up the night before Christmas, so we'll be putting those up soon. I will share all of that over on my Instagram as well if you'd like to check it out the king of kings laid us lowly manger 
In the dining room, I wanted to continue with the red theme, but tone it down a bit. So I added these two trees and added some very contemporary, fun kind of ski lodge type ornaments, as well as a cute little bar so we can make hot toddies for friends, as well as eggnog. If you guys are have been on my channel for a couple years, you know that we make homemade eggnog every year. And I will link the recipe down below if you'd like to make it as well as the video that goes with it. The night when Christ was born Oh night divine For the side table I went with our mercury glass candle holders and these really cute Christmas tree atriums where our elves snuck into the night before and for the Christmas tree I just used some really traditional burlap and plaid kind of cascading down the tree and then added some skis and some presents and some really fun different types of ornaments that kind of brought more of a contemporary vibe to this space and also not so over the top I didn't want to overly decorate these trees but I thought it would be fun to do something themed like a snow lodge. For the tablescape, I wanted to continue the Christmas plaid, so I found this really pretty uh, table runner from Home Goods. It's got some pretty snowflakes on it, and then I used all of my Christmas deer collection and just kind of put them all over the table. I noticed in one of my boxes I had a ton of them, so I thought it'd be fun to just kind of mishmash them on the table, and then I added these Merry Christmas plates and some nice little napkins with some uh, seasonal spice napkin rings. So on our way into the kitchen, I decided to decorate our sideboard with our nativity. I wanted to put it in a very special place and this happens to be an area that is high traffic in our house since we're all always headed to the kitchen for some good food. I added some really pretty mercury glass just to bring in a Victorian feel to this space. Our house is an 1891 Victorian so I always like to keep things pretty traditional in here but I added some snow just to create a nice vignette where we can celebrate the season. In the kitchen, I have it all decorated for a fun gingerbread house making party for my kids. We have four children, which you don't see here on my channel, but I definitely like to make things very special and memorable for them. So I added some candy and some ready-made gingerbread houses. I need to get better at making my own, but they're really hard to keep together when you have four kids that wanna play. So I just did some ready-mades and I added some cookies for them to eat. And we're gonna make some nice hot cocoa and enjoy some family time here at the house. Tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite things to do with your kids or grandkids during the Christmas holiday?
Above the stove, I've added my favorite Santa Claus painting. I will link this one down below. It's one of my favorites. And I added a little garland to the lights above our island. I've never done that before and I think it just turned out very traditional and classic. I also like how minimal this feels. As you guys know, I tend to go a little over the top and this year I feel like I didn't do as much as I usually do. And I think these little touches are just so sweet and classic. adding two little tiny wreaths to the fronts of our washer machines. I just think that they look so cute on the dishwasher, but I also added a cookie jar and some classic little Christmas decor to each corner. And I also wanted to have a nice place to keep the kids advent calendars. And then over here I have our hot cocoa bar. We do hot cocoa almost every single morning and night during the Christmas season. It's my kids absolute favorite. And we usually will put some of these stir sticks in our coffees but I like to add all of this so when kids come over or neighbors come over I can always grab either a hot cup of cocoa or a really sweet little candy cane. At the top of the stairs we have a Christmas tree that is currently decorated with all the kids Christmas ornaments over the years. I didn't want to share it all decorated because it has all their faces since the day they were born on it and all their artwork and everything else and is our favorite tree in the house but I try to keep it somewhere special where house guests can't accidentally break things and we get to start every day looking at this beautiful tree as a family. In our bathroom I added just two very simple little mats and some cute decorations to bring in the Christmas spirit each morning and night. I love how simple yet classic the bathroom turned out and I love just the simple red, white, and pops of green. From there we head into our master bedroom where I have transformed it into a winter wonderland using some beautiful birch trees which I will absolutely link down below for you. I wanted a really soft and calm space for the kids and I and my husband to come during the holiday season to make sure that we can kind of have some time together and it's quiet and not so bright in here. But I picked up this beautiful fur blanket from Target. I'll link it down below. I know a lot of you have been enjoying that with me this holiday season as well. So I will link the birch trees down below as well. There are a couple different types that you can get but the ones I ended up finding I absolutely love and have a wonderful quality to them but this is how this room turned out I also added a bunch of flameless candles to the fireplace just to kind of bring in that soft winter feel with some wonderful little twigs that we picked up from I think I got them at Michael's two years ago but I usually use them for a tablescape but I think they turned out really beautiful in this room but under the stars, I close my eyes.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's home tour and got a little bit of inspiration for Christmas 2021 and were able to join me throughout the season here on my channel. If you're new, definitely let us know in the comments down below so we can say hi and welcome you. And if you're returning or spent the season decorating with me, thank you so much for being here. You have made Christmas 2021 so special to me and I can't thank you enough. I look forward to sharing so much more with you guys in the next weeks before we head into 2022 together. Until then, Merry Christmas. Thank you.